I'm a landscape photographer, currently fulfilling a lifelong dream of mine to go storm chasing in the USA. And let me tell you, we're only a few days in and already this has been one of the most wow. unforgettable trips of my life. If you haven't seen it, you have to go and watch last week's video. All right, we're out of here, we're out. Today, we're not dodging hailstone or running away from supercells. We're trying not to get Whoa. struck by lightning. I got it! <laughs> so sit down, get comfortable, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy. All right, welcome to Omaha, Nebraska, everybody, for what is gonna be another day of storm chasing, excitement, and photography, and I cannot wait. Thor, in last week's video, you called it and said we were gonna have a good day, and we did. Yep. What's your prediction for today? Uh, depends on if I'm wearing my hat or not. Oh, well, you're not wearing your hat at the minute. No. Wait, wait, no. let's change that. Um, where's, where's the hat, where's the hat? The storm hat. Storm hat is on, so our luck is good. All right, Mr. Mike. <laughs> Hey, hey, how's today looking compared to last week's video? Oh, it's looking great, man. Yeah. It's looking great. So tonight what's probably gonna happen is we're gonna have isolated supercells forming, and then within the first three hours is gonna be our window for a really good supercellular structure, and possibly a tornado. Then they're going to grow upscale and kind of congeal into a bow echo. Oh well, we've heard it from the man himself. It's looking like today is gonna be a good day. We're gonna drive two and a half hours to Leon in Iowa, and we may even dip into Missouri today as well. So, ah, let's hit the road. Let's, let's hit the road. We gotta wait for duty uh, gas. Yeah. Why bother? Welcome to Leon, everybody. All right, quick coffee stop in Leon, Iowa, and we are now heading off to Princeton in Missouri, I believe. So yet another state in the pursuit of a supercell. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, let's go. Darren. Yeah, wait for them. Oh, for the video, you've got to put your foot down and then... So wait. Wait. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, we get there when we get there. <laughs> now I've said this before, storm chasing is not as glamorous as it seems 99% of the time. We're on the highways, we're in a car, and we're driving. But unfortunately, that is the nature of the business. All right, quick update guys, and to give you an idea of how fluid and dynamic these storms are and how difficult they are to predict. So we stopped for coffee in Lyon and we formulated a plan to drive southeast towards Milan, not in Italy. On the route to Milan, plans have changed again and now we're heading a bit further north and we're going east towards a town called Lancaster. That decision was made in about 10 minutes. So these storms and the data, it's always constantly changing. This is so, so difficult and I have a, a newfound respect for all storm chasers because this is far from easy. What's going on? Uh, we're hoping to catch up to a storm that's forming just south of here. So checking a little bit of data, make sure this is the right call and then we'll keep pushing south. See, it's all about the data. Right, guys back on the road again 30 minutes ago we were heading southeast 20 minutes ago we were heading east and now we're heading where are we heading flipping heck south southwest all right we are somewhere in missouri middle of nowhere beautiful flat farmlands perfect for a storm and now it's a waiting game we think we're in the path of the storms so when they develop and gather energy, they're moving this way. Hopefully, we're in a great place, or at least nearby, to be able to then begin a close chase. Yeah, this is it. This is exciting. Just a waiting game from this point on. Well, we waited and we watched, hoping to find any signs of an oncoming storm. 
And then soon enough, we spotted something. Yeah, I really can. Yeah, it's a super so that big cumulus, cumulus nimbus is pulling in these smaller, lower clouds. Yeah, and you got some beautiful crepuscular rays behind you. All right, it's go time. We have some big cumulus nimbus clouds ingesting all of the other clouds, and that's all showing up on radar. And what that tells me, or what Mike tells me, is that there's going to be a storm. Right. For once, we haven't driven very far. Oh my God, look at, look at the size of this cumulus nimbus. We'll just tilt the camera up. There we go, look at that. That is billowing. Is it? A storm is brewing, guys. A storm is brewing. What do you think? I know, I know you love it when I shove a camera in your face. Yeah, what, what is it, though? What do you think? What do you think? I don't think. I just don't. What are you shooting with? What are you shooting? What the, what's this? Uh, a lightning what's trigger. This? A lightning trigger. Yep. I didn't bring a lightning trigger. Do you want to see my lightning trigger? Yeah. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're all lined up here in front of this beautiful, beautiful, I think it's corn, I'm not too sure. But whilst we wait for the storm, I just want to show you my composition that I've got set up because it's actually quite fantastic. We don't have any kind of supercell or anything like that yet, but the skies are so dramatic and the light is beautiful. Let me spin you around and show you what I've got. I've gone for a vertical composition here. I'll just brighten it up so you can see. You can see we've got half the frame with this beautiful field here, this corn, which just looks fantastic. And then the minimalist top half of the image with these two trees and this fantastic sky. So actually, this look, this is really exciting for me. It's not, I wouldn't necessarily call it a storm photograph, but it's a beautiful shot. I've also focus stacked it. So I've exposed one image for the sky where I focused to infinity. And then I've done two focus stacks. Let me show you. I focused here in the middle and here in the foreground. I probably won't need both exposures and we'll get away with a single shot, but it's always good to have them. And yeah, this is fantastic. So there we go, beautiful, beautiful shot. Let's see what happens because, man, look at it, look at it. It's absolutely foreboding. Oh, this could be incredible. This could be incredible. Yeah, the best photo trip I've ever done. Rain is coming down now and the wind is picking up. Time to move on guys. I think we're heading south. I got my shot here, which I'm really happy with. And now I'll grab the tripod and I'll jump in the car and continue the chase. Oh, we are getting a lot of lightning and we've just had a tornado warning. Let me spin you around and show you. Look at that. That is incredible. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. And <laughs> we are going right into that. Whoa. It's pulling behind me. Oh, the lightning, man. Oh, this is intense. Whoa. I got it! <laughs> right, so what I'm doing now is I'm shooting an interval timer. Click, 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 click. You can hear that. Whoa. Whether or not I'm gonna capture one of these lightning bolts. Whoa, there was one. So, yeah. how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Lucky hat? Lucky hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wind's picking up now, guys. The wind's really, really picking up. You can see it in the grass. Whoa. I'm going to grab a filter, maybe a six stop, see if I can slow down my exposure, give myself a better chance of capturing a lightning bolt. Because I don't have a lightning trigger. 
even though I was advised to get one. Whoa, I didn't get one. So we've got filters here, case filters, nice and fast, magnetic, stick them on, job done. Right, we're now shooting at a three second exposure per shot. So my frame is something like this area here. Oh man, I'll be so disappointed if I've not got a lightning bolt. Oh, desperately trying here, desperately trying, but it's just potluck. And you know what, if I haven't got a lightning bolt, that's okay. It's still gonna be a very, very dramatic shot. Oh yeah, 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 come on, give us that, give us that bolt of lightning right in the middle there. Whoa, surely we got that one. We're bouncing, right, it's go time. Grab cameras, oh, still shooting. We gotta run, we gotta run. All good, yeah, we're getting out of here. I will put the image on screen and then we're going on to the next one. Come on. and jumped out. Yeah. So it looks like the storm is sort of losing power, but it's still so dramatic. I mean, just look at that, guys. Is that not one of the most incredible things you've ever seen? Yeah, so we're gonna get set up and we're gonna shoot for more lightning. As you saw, unfortunately, we didn't really get the lightning in the previous shot. So that's not to say we can't try again. This time I'm just gonna go for a three-stop graduated filter. Sorry, not graduated, a three-stop ND filter and we'll probably look at it about for, for about a one one and a half second exposure at f10 and I'm going to go into the menu interval timer shooting and we're just going to let it fire the rains are coming now hopefully we don't get a drop on our lens and hopefully you know it's just luck you know if if a lightning bolt fires in our scene fantastic if not this is still a brilliant composition. We have converging lines of this field, this crop field, and this phenomenal, phenomenal sky. As much as there was thunder and lightning all around, I just couldn't seem to capture it. So I turned my camera to shoot behind me. Oh! Yo, I got one. Ah, you see, this is the problem and why I've not been having much luck with lightning strikes. I've been prioritizing composition over bolts of lightning. As soon as I prioritize the lightning, I capture it, but my composition, well, a lightning strike doesn't make an image. Let's put it that way. I don't know if you can hear this. Oh. This is unbelievable. Oh, hailstone, we got a big hail. Oh, it's coming down now. It's really coming down now. Ah. Yeah, all right. We're just gonna change our position slightly to get a better vantage point on a huge rain curtain over this way. Oh. All right, so just a slight change of position for a bit more photography. Back out into the rain, but it's worth it, man. It's uh, just so much fun. Got the camera. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of rain <laughs> that way. That's what's hitting us. Luckily, that huge rain curtain bypassed us without too much bother. And as the day drew to a close, the lightning and thunder just seemed to grow and grow in intensity. And repositioning ourselves on the other side of this old house, well, that was a genius move and one that would pay off immensely as the day transitioned into night. So I thought we were done. I thought the shoot was over. I've already signed off. But as you can see, we have another storm rolling through with this light that's come on with this house and the storm, the clouds and the lightning behind us. You can see it kicking off behind me there. We're shooting, we're shooting through, through the night. It's fantastic, man. I've had to adjust my settings. I'm lucky, if I go for a long exposure, sort of 10 seconds at ISO 100, you don't capture the lightning. You still gotta get that fast, sort of two, one to two second shutter speed. So I'm at ISO 800, F5.6, 
focused on that creepy looking house there. It's beautifully lit. And as you can see over my shoulder, did you see that? That's what we're capturing. We're capturing all of this lightning. I can even time blend it if I choose to, which means getting images, combining them in a composite to capture all of the lightning. But look, it might not even be necessary because there's so much energy in those clouds. This truly not a word of lie. This is one of the best experiences of my entire life. I mean, look at it. Look at what's happening over my shoulder. Let's spin you around for a better view. We have a creepy house in the middle of nowhere, hanging out with good friends with a lightning storm that will not stop. So now I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna leave you with this image. Tune in next week for what is sure to be more chasing. Mike tells me, he promised me a tornado, so, you know. Nothing but the best for you, buddy. There we go, nothing but the best. Tornado day next week, so make sure you tune in and subscribe for more storm chasing. I'll leave you with this image, which has to be, has to be one of my favorites from this trip so far. Cheers, guys. I thought it might be interesting for you to see the raw files of these images alongside the edited versions. Just trying something new, let me know in the comments if it's helpful. And if you've enjoyed this video and you wanna support the channel, I have a couple of photography books available, there's a link in the description. But most of all, if you could just like this video and subscribe if you're not already. It's a huge help to the channel and it's free of charge. Thanks guys.